Welcome! In this video, we will look at the Area Model Division Strategy. Let's start by reviewing what it means to divide. When we divide, we are doing one of two things. First, when we divide, we could be creating fair shares, meaning that we put amounts into equal groups. Or, secondly, we could be doing repeated subtraction or repeatedly taking away groups. As I model the Area Model Division Strategy, I am going to think about the second type of division, where I repeatedly take away groups until I'm left with nothing. When I use the area model for division, I start with a quick brain dump. This is where I write down everything that's in my brain. My brain dump will be about the number that I'm dividing by, in this case, the number 13. Although this brain dump is for a division problem, I'm going to think about multiplication for a minute. Soon, you'll see why this is helpful. So for example, I know 13 times 1 is 13, hmm, 13 times 2 is 26, and 13 times 3 is 39. All right, what else do I know about 13? Well, if I know 13 times 1, it helps me know 13 times 10, that's 130. If I know 13 times 2, it helps me know 13 times 20, that's 260. And if I know 13 times 3, it helps me know 13 times 30, that's 390. Hmm, well I also know 13 times 100 is 1,300, but I really don't need to know that for the solving this problem. Now that I've thought about ways to multiply 13, I'm going to use that to help me divide by 13. Remember, multiplication and division are related. I start by creating a rectangular area model. I make a space for each place in the number that I'm dividing, which is 1,234. I write this number in expanded form, 1,234, divided by 13. Now that we've broken up our number by its place value, let's divide. I know 13 can be repeatedly taken from 1,000, or divided into 1,000, at least one time, because 1 times 13 is 13. Wow, well that's not nearly enough. I know that 13 can be repeatedly subtracted from 1,000 at least 10 times because 10 times 13 is 130. Okay, well, 13 can divide into, into 1,020 times because 13 times 20 is 260. Ugh, these numbers just aren't big enough. Let me try a bigger number. Hmm, how about 70? Let's see if I can divide 13 into 1,000 70 times. In other words, can I repeatedly subtract 13 from 1,000 70 times? 70 times 13 is 910. When I take 13 away 70 times, that's 910. Well, now I'm left with 90. Let's move that over into the next place. Now, how many times can I divide 13 into 290? In other words, how many times can I take 13 away from 290? I could try taking 13 away 10 times. Okay, 13 times 10 is 130. I could still take away more. I could try taking 13 away 20 times. 20 times 13 is 260. Let's do that. I have 30 left. I'm going to move 30 over to the next place, making this 30 a 60. Hmm, 13 can definitely divide into 60 two times because two times 13 is 26. Let's see if 13 can divide into 60 three times. Yep, 13 times three is 39. Now I have 21 left. Let's move that 21 to the last place, making this four a 25. I can divide 13 into 25 one time. 13 times 1 is 13, and we have a remainder of 12. Wow, look at all the times I was able to divide 13 into the number 1,234. That means I repeatedly subtracted 13 from 1,234 this many times. When I add all of these numbers together, I find out that 13 divides into 1,234 94 times with a remainder of 12. In other words, 1,234 divided by 13 is 94 with a remainder of 12. Today and every day, you can use the area model to divide. 
This helps you use familiar multiplication facts to solve division problems. Eventually, you will move on to a more efficient strategy or algorithm such as the standard algorithm.